when you get on having a personality and a personality that shines through, that's when the organization can can actually build around you. That's why Peyton Manning was used yeah. so well. And he actually even McGregor. If you think about And that's all, if we're going back to it, McGregor is wrestling. Yes. He is 100%. I don't know if he watches it and fucking plans it all to be like a wrestler, but he's 100% a wrestler. He never shuts he, his mouth. He's throwing Billy, chairs at things. Yeah, he has the, the Billy, Billy walk. Strut. He's got things that are associated. That's so with Ric Flair. He's wearing clothes that's always like super rich. Yeah. At the beginning, when he first started making money, he was all about showing how money, much money, money he was making. the same thing. It's all, they're, they're, they're embodying characters. Whether the sport is real or not, whether it happens or not, what they are doing is playing a character. And that yeah. in and of itself is, is larger than life. It's actually more impressive in some ways. Than, than their their physical ability or talent in some way. Well, that's what differentiates you from the from the rest of the pack. Well, the, you know why it's more impressive because it's not even it's not even known. It's like w there's millions of people who watch the fight, cowboy versus fucking Connor, but they do not see the the character that is being played. Like mm -hmm. they do not see the PR move. Well, no, sub, that he made it subconsciously. Being subconsciously, they do, they do subconsciously. see it. Subconsciously, everyone sees it. But it's a fucking cowboy, a guy who's literally constantly wearing a cowboy hat versus loudmouth Conor McGregor, who's not being so loud, although he still was loud. But he wasn't that loud. He wasn't that loud because he had bad, had a bunch of bad PR leading up to it. He had yeah. two bad loss. Well, oh, now he's gonna be no. It, but now he's gonna be loud again. Now he's gonna be loud again. Yes. Yeah. Totally. And that's what the UFC needed. Yes. And why they were so upset that he was leaving. It's like. They helped make him. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the backstab move. Is that like same thing with Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan made the WWF, but the WWF existed, mm -hmm. so they made you. And then when you're you think you're so big and you leave to go do movies, they're pissed, bro, because they helped make you, and then you just left them in the dirt. And that's why when the federal indictments came around, they basically like what happened was um, they went after Vince McMahon because. Ted Turner owned WCW, the competition, and he also owned CNN. He basically ran that guy through the mud, his competition. Said that he was doing steroids, had him federally indicted. For doing ran steroids. it on the news and had him federally indicted and had Hulk Hogan testify that he was given drugs by Vince McMahon. So all imagine the, All the try and take down the WWF. To take down the competition. Mm -hmm. And that's why after he got away with it, WWF became what it became, which is like absolutely gung ho crazy. Cause he, cause underneath it all, he was being attacked by this guy. So he had to be like, fuck it. We're going to have transvestites and we're going to have guns and suck it. And well, now there's a lot more female wrestling. Female wrestling is a huge thing in the WWE now, it seems. I, I know nothing about the WWE anymore, but why? Well, there's a reason like why a, like wrestling is not in the popular culture as much anymore because they don't have, they don't have the rock. They had John Cena. John Cena was huge. And then John Cena went to go do movies. And now maybe oh, like, sure. it's almost like because wrestling's so big, they come and wrestle for a year or two. And as soon as they get big, they go do movies. And then wrestling has no one. They constantly have no one. It's literally a bunch of people who are like, I want to be a wrestler, but they don't understand the, the character development that you need to have, the charisma that you need to build. It's not about going to the gym and learning the moves. It's really about like half your time. You should be practicing mic skills. Mm -hmm. And being able to be charismatic. And the same is true for every single athlete. They don't let them celebrate in the NFL. Super whack. Because that year where they were celebrating touchdowns, craziest. People loved it. Crazy. People were Googling and YouTubing after, oh, that, what did Ocho Cinco? Yeah, and yeah, think yeah. of Ocho Cinco. And was think huge. of fucking Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco was huge. How big is how many sales? He probably had a percentage of uh, jersey sales. Everyone does. Okay, so you, I think I, I believe that it's part of the thing that if people buy your jersey, you get more. Like, there's something in your contract where that's so. For did sure Ocho thing. Cinco not sell the most jerseys ever compared to any other Bengal? Guaranteed, he destroyed compared to any other Bengal. He was a genius, Absolutely. and he raced a horse. The fact that he changed his name to Ocho Cinco in and of itself is because they wouldn't let him fucking have Ocho Cinco back. What if I legally change even, it? I don't even know his name anymore. Chad Johnson. That's Chad Johnson. That's it. <laughs> I couldn't even literally He's couldn't a even remember his name. He raced a horse. Cinco. Because what what is Chad Johnson? The fastest guy in the NFL. Mm. Sprint B line on that C B. No. And that's why he wants you to remember that he's super fast. I'm gonna race a horse. No, I, I mean look, it, part of that is news anchors and the people who do these things doing a good job at essentially giving the name to a particular character, right? Like so, for example, like when Chris Johnson was uh, ran for 2K, 2, 2, 2K yards, right? They called him CJ2K or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And and so they spur on. They're good at like. No, somebody... but Chad Johnson came up with Ocho Cinco. 
No, no, that a hundred percent. So there's a difference of like waiting for someone to da, 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 I agree. and being the absolute mastermind I, who comes to, up with it first, and then the other people start repeating it. Yes, there's a huge difference in that. Yeah, and that's why like the other guy, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, but Chad Johnson, I'll go to the grave remembering that fucking genius. Yeah, who was just a wide receiver. That's all he was. And Terrell Owens, I'll never forget Terrell Owens. Why? What it sticks out in your mind for for Terrell Owens? Remember when he put the fucking football on the star oh, yeah. of Dallas, yeah, and the, he gets the whole team runs yeah, after him? That's the probably the most famous one, right? Yeah, because he's literally like. And then he would say some shit because it, it's such a stupid act. He's literally just going to your star on your field yeah. and said. And but, celebrating. Yeah, but it was a symbolic But he thing knew he'd it. get a rise out of you. Yeah. He knew he'd get a rise out of the whole... So instead of just doing this in your end zone, he runs to the center and tries to do it there so the whole crowd erupts. And, and, that's, and, and that's wrestling. And, and, and you know who's more wrestling than anybody else in the real world? Fucking Trump. Trump is the ultimate, ultimate wrestler. He's the ultimate. He's the ultimate. Like, everything is laced in gold. He's Floyd Mighty Mayweather as a real person. I'm going to build a wall. The wall's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so it's high. Big, it's huge. It's gonna be huge. It's, it's huge. It's, it's a big, the biggest wall. The best wall. You know what I mean? Like it's so hilarious that that's exactly what he does yeah. over and over and over again. But that's but that's what they were doing anyways. And that's they were doing were. that. They just weren't doing it at his level. His level yeah. is next level. 